Hey guys, welcome to Automatic Invoicing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Invoice Ninja, a really cool invoicing tool with Integromat. To know more about it, visit our integrations page and search for Invoice Ninja. You'll see the various templates that we've got, all the triggers and actions that we support, and a little bit about Invoice Ninja. All right, let's dive in. In this scenario, I'm going to show you how to add new Pipedrive organizations to Invoice Ninja as clients. While Pipedrive is a popular CRM, um, if you'd like to, you can replace it with another CRM tool of your choice. The first module is the Watch Objects module. Um, you need to connect your Pipedrive account, select Organizations as, as the object type, add a filter if you'd like to, and choose when you'd like to trigger it. It's fairly simple. And the next module is the Create a Client uh, module or Invoice Ninja. So you need to con uh, connect your Invoice Ninja account here and then map all the attributes that you fetch from, from the previous module. So I've got the name, address, city, state, etc. And that's it. Now you need to select, um, you need to choose where to start this module, the pipe drive module. So you can select from now on, you can choose objects from, from after a specific date, all objects, or you can even select the first objects, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select my favorite band here. Now we just click on run once to run the scenario once and we'll see the scenario is executing itself and there you go. A new client has been created and we've consumed two operations for this scenario. And if we go to invoice ninja and refresh the client's page, we see the new client has been added right here. All right, so that was easy. Now let's switch to the next scenario. So the next scenario is called an e email invoice PDF to a client from one's own email as soon as it's created on Invoice Ninja. And we're gonna use a pre-made template for this one. You can find the template on, under the template section. So we have a very neat um, templates wizard which helps you create a template step by step. Um, so yeah, you just need to click on create new scenario from template. The first step is to select the organization. So you can choose an organization if you're part of multiple organizations or Integromat. And then the first module is the watch invoices module, which basically watches for new invoices being created. Um, after adding a connection, you just click continue. You select, um, choose where to start. So let's select from now on. You need to get the client ID from the previous module, so it's already done. So the good thing about a template is that you'll see all these attributes already mapped. So technically you don't really need to do anything. You just need to keep clicking continue. And then um, in the third module, which is basically uh, download an invoice module, we map the invoice ID from the, the first module, from, from watch, watch invoices module. And click continue. And the last module is the email module. You can obviously use the Gmail module instead of this one. And in the email module, we just configure it based on our requirement. And we just need to um, map the email address of the client who, who we wish to send it to, which I've done here. So you can see here, um, I'm fetching the email address of the client from the get a client module right here under contacts there you go and then we just add the subject the content and most importantly most importantly attach the PDF so when you click here you see we've mapped the file name from the download and invoice module and under data we've mapped the PDF so yeah that's it the template is ready to go um, now I'm going to go and create a new invoice on Invoice Ninja. I just select a client here and select the Beatles and add an item. You can obviously add multiple line items. I'm just going to add one and uh, I'm going to save the draft. So now my invoice has been created. I'm going to run it once. I'm going to check for new invoices. I just hope it works fine and there you go 
it downloaded the invoice and it has emailed the invoice so what we just did was um, the scenario watch for a new invoice it got the client ID and the client details it downloaded the invoice and it emailed it to me so there you go we just consume four operations in this scenario um, don't forget to set your interval by clicking here I've set it at 15 minutes but you can obviously change that and don't forget to save your scenarios all right great so um, moving on to the third scenario for which also we're going to use a template um, this one's pretty useful and it has a lot of use cases it's called use data from a webhook to create an email and invoice so yeah let's get started so i've got a custom webhook here um, as the first module you need to create a webhook if you haven't already i've got a webhook here already configured um, so here we, we just map all the attributes in the create a client module so the client name which i receive from the webhook the phone number um, contact first name last name and the email address and then I'm going to create an invoice. So I fetched the client ID from the previous module. Um, I use this function to, to set the date created. This is going to set today's day, today's date as, as the created date. And uh, the due date will be seven days after. So I use this function uh, for mat date, add days, and I've added seven days to the current date. And that's the PDF, um, the, the invoice PDF will, will contain um, a line item with the name and the amount, the quantity and a note. Click on save, uh, continue. And now this is the same as the previous module. The invoice ID is mapped here and the email settings are also the same. Okay, so now I need to trigger the webhook. So for that, I'm going to run the scenario once by clicking here. And now I'm going to head over to my chatbot. So that's my chatbot. I've called it invoicing bot. I click on get started. So I select a package here. Please choose one of our service packages. All right, please share your details for us to email your invoice. In what name shall the invoice be raised? Let's say the doors. I can confirm this email address or type in another one and um, same for the phone number and as soon as I submit this information the webhook will be triggered and there you go you see that it's being executed and uh, yep it's done and I received the email so we just consumed five operations in this beautiful scenario and it basically fetched all the details from the webhook, created a client, created a new invoice, downloaded the invoice and sent it to me over email. So it has a lot of use cases and um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.